Welcome, guys. This is Grez, G-R-E-S. If you're new here, please do subscribe. And we're going to have some fun. A lot of fun. Uh, have you seen the, uh, my prior Sopranos video filming locations? You know I'm a huge fan. And here we go. This is part two, shall we call it. Mainly focused in uh, Queens area. Yeah, Sopranos was not only shot in um, Jersey, but heavily in Queens as well. And uh, we're going to have fun. So please do subscribe. And uh, let's get ready to rock and roll. All right, there we are. That is the home. Now, what is seen, this is from um, Blue Comet. This is season six, I believe, uh, episode 20. Um, and, uh, you know, what happens here, um, you know, gentlemen, uh, looks like this is a one-way road. In the scene, uh, it looked to be a two-way road. Coming over um, from that side of the road, um, Coming over from that side, coming over from that side of the road, coming straight down, making a right into his uh, dr driveway, which is, um, you know, right over there. Made a right into his driveway, and, um, you know, uh, it's a Cadillac. There is a car on the opposite side, uh, right where I'm standing. Uh, observing it's a nighttime scene he pulls in does the gentleman goes into his residence um, thinking that he's calling it a night well um, the two hitmen that were in the car get out of the car and uh, you know one of them gets out of the car the other guy uh, you know has uh, something in his hand per, per pretends that he is uh, DHL shot and kill the guy they shot and kill the guy and they also uh, shot and killed um, a woman who they thought was a mit mistress in actuality who they shot and killed was the the father of the mistress of Phil Leotardo and his daughter. So the father of the mistress and his daughter was also killed. The Italian hitmen thought that they had killed Phil and his mistress if you follow me so the the backstory and that is this is a house uh, the awning is a little bit different uh, as you could see um, the awning is a little bit different here and um, as we're gonna move down here scene here uh, the awning is, is different but uh, the house for the most part uh, looks the same and you know the the, the backstory of this ah uh, and the Italian hitman how could they screw this up but they did you know uh, the backstory of this episode was you know, Tony, Silvio, and Bobby uh, were basically aware that Phil uh, was was gonna was, was try, trying to kill them. So t Tony d decided uh, to, to try to kill kill and act first and kill Phil first. And he was using the, the cousins, which is the Italian hitman, who performed a hit on Rusty Milio. The order was eventually passed down to Corky, who makes contact with them. But they killed the wrong guy. The father of Phil's mistress. 
and kill his daughter too. Because uh, uh, he was, uh, she was saying daddy. Or that might have been his mistress too. How do we know? But he was called Ukrainian Phil. Because the guy spoke Ukrainian. And then, you know, Tony realizes the danger of what happened. And uh, he orders Silvio to tell everyone in the family to go in their safe house. Almost too late. Um, Bobby is almost instantly killed in a model uh, rail, railway store in Long Island. So, trouble happening. Gotta act fast. Sopranos, Blue Comet, Season 6, Episode 20. That was Ukrainian Phil's house. Season 5, Episode 7, in Camelot. Here we are in Grand Avenue. Grand Avenue and 71st. Right there, by a taste of China and the bagel store, uh, as it was before, same, uh, same way now. That's where Tony Soprano uh, was parked in his Cadillac. And Tony uh, seen, um, seen Phil right here. He's seen Phil in Master Pizza grabbing a slice, and Tony wants to speak with Phil. And Phil does want nothing to do with that because he owes him money. So he then gets into his car, which is a Lincoln, and uh, drives down this way. So there's the Chinese restaurant. And uh, there's the uh, pizza shop. Mastiff Queens, um, 71st or 72nd and Grand Avenue. Pretty damn cool. Here we are walking down the street here. Another nice little tidbit spot. Still in uh, season five, episode seven, in that same episode in Camelot. There you see Zebra Drugs uh, on the corner, which was in a shot here. So we're on Flushing and 63rd. And this is where Phil, after he's um, running away from Tony, he collides with a with a truck so that funeral home by the way uh, would be a different uh, name Zeb Drugs right here that funeral parlor was a different name but right in front of a uh, better shot here and we're still in Maspeth Queens So this chase is about half a mile away uh, from the pizza place. The Valley National Bank, by the way, was a auto body shop in the scene. Uh, it's been, uh, you know, uh, the bank has taken over. But right about there by the Chinese restaurant, you look at that Wrangler, boom, colliding with that Camry. Well, looking at the cars here, it was right about where the crash happened. You look at the white and the uh, the white SUV and the Jeep right around uh, where the crash happened. Phil then gets out. Tony rather gets out. Tries to shake Phil down here. Give me money. Never owe Tony money. Never, never, never. 
still a mess, but as you can see, uh, they would have driven over the BQE. But that is the scene with a car crash. Flushing out, Maspeth. Phil crashes, Tony has a word with him. Here we are, I'm actually looking at uh, what was a Yelp review for Punta Dora Dining Room. It was an Italian restaurant. Um, no longer. Uh, you're actually probably even familiar maybe even with this the outside shot Okay, we'll see that Located in uh, they say it's Long Island City. Now I call this Astoria 4115 South Cold Menos. This is where This is the old Nuevo Studio, I believe, as it was called in the Sopranos. My pronunciation was wrong, I'm sure. The building has changed a little bit, uh, definitely has changed. No longer an Italian restaurant, it's um, a Greek, rec uh, Greek restaurant, Amenos. This is the outside shot of it. This is where the Sopranos, Tony, and all his friends did all their discussions. No matter how big or how small, majority of the meetings were in this restaurant. I'll give you a better shot. They said that only uh, the talk is is that only the exterior shot was used, um, and the interiors were done inside Silver Cup Studios. I don't know. Like I seen, uh, you seen a picture that I put up there as far as the uh, old Yelp reviews for Punta Dora, which was the actual real name. Uh, the interiors look very similar um, to what the restaurant was. Maybe that's by design. I don't know. Let's try to get a, a look in. See how it looks like now. And the interior looks different. Obviously, this uh, Greek restaurant. This is the uh, front view of what was Punta Dora, or Tony's favorite, one of Tony's favorite restaurants. No longer Italian restaurant. Again, it's Greek. And the inside. Uh, better shot. How the restaurant looks like nowadays. Again, like I say, it's on the corner of 70, 42nd and 34th on the GPS, it appears as a story. Again, I wonder how many times like people walk by and do they ever say, oh, yeah, that's the restaurant from The Sopranos. I don't know, I think I'm the only one. <laughs> Pretty damn cool. So, straight ahead is the uh, the pawn shop where J.T. Dolan uh, pawned in his Emmy. Now, if you remember, in this in the episode of Camelot, Christopher begins to uh, spend time with J.T. Dolan, the television screenwriter he met in rehab. The two offer to support one another when they get the urge to use. After he loses a sports bet to JT, Chris introduces him to the family's high-stakes poker game. 
JT runs up $60,000 in debt and he starts missing payments. That's where Chris and little Paul go to his apartment and beat him up. JT loses some writing jobs, causing him to turn to heroin. Chris then helps direct him back towards rehab. But that is the pawn shop. Not to mention, <laughs> JT is also forced to uh, now uh, turn over his convertible as well. But, you know, Christopher, of course, was such a, a great friend, as we all know. That is the pawn shop. Uh, KB Jewelers. Uh, uh, and uh, Dittmar is in 37. This is uh, the Church of the Lock, usually churches here in Queens are open throughout the day, but this one is uh, locked. Uh, but this is the church that they used inside of the uh, Sopranos, seasons uh, 1 and 6. Not a lot, but um, you know, a couple of episodes, maybe 4 or 5 episodes. Uh, located uh, the entrance is actually on 11th Street so that would be 12th and 36th let's see we this church right here This is the outside of the church using the Sopranos, St. Rita's Church. Let's see if I can get into the chapel. It's not the main church. The chapel. Uh, they used, uh, in the scene of the Sopranos, they use AJ, um, Carmela. You know, they attended, uh, AJ went to church, Carmela had a uh, christening. The inside uh, does look exactly uh, the way it was shot uh, in the series. Just come peeking in. All right, so here we are, Long Island City. I don't know if you're able to. But focus in right there. But that was um, it's called A and M. It's called A and M now, uh, but it was Brunel Bros. Brunel Brothers in The Sopranos. First episode, a uh, first season episode two. I believe it was like 46 and long. And the backstory between uh, for this location is they're looking for. Um, Tony is looking for Mr. Miller's Saturn. Mr. Miller is uh, AJ's science teacher, and Mr. Miller's Saturn was stolen. So the, the hopes were finding that Saturn to be in the good graces of AJ and uh, Mr. Miller. I mean, Mr. Miller takes care of AJ with science since he was horrible in science and that would be uh, kind of like, uh, here's a little gift, just take care of AJ. And over here, the, uh, the auto shop is where they found the uh, remnants, uh, the remaining pieces of the stolen Saturn. 
now called AMM Auto Repair. Located uh, 21st and 43rd. Now, if you've been following along here, all these locations are all right next to each other. A hop and a skip and a jump away from Ukrainian fiddles house to the to the chase to the church, everything all in between. They're all relatively very very close to each other. One last shot of Brunel. So uh, right down there, and this is where actually in back of the silver cup um, sign. But straight down there, the building does not look all too fancy, but straight down there uh, is where production goes on, uh, went on for Sopranos. Many of the uh, interior shots, supposedly, uh, you know, for the Sopranos were done in silver, silver cup, including uh, the Sopranos home. Uh, just based out of that building there, which uh, doesn't seem to be the biggest, but it you know it's been the home of the Sopranos, been home to uh, Dirty Rock, been home to uh, Meet the Parents, been home to um, a quite a wide variety of um, TV shows. Uh, second largest. Uh, they could see some more of the production. Uh, pretty busy place. <laughs> pretty busy place. Um, they have another location in the Bronx, but this one looks um, pretty uh, pretty busy. to think Sopranos was happening there uh, film production you could see a lot of production trucks that's the uh, you have the city right there in the background a lot of the scenes here too if you're looking down um, this is on 22nd Street if you're looking down 22nd Street a lot of um, random street shots were done along this street with the backdrop if you're very familiar with it to uh, signify uh, Newark but it's actually Long Island City so it should be very familiar for you guys as well let's take a look at the area here let's go uh, take a look at the uh, front that uh, we could see that famous silver cup sign actuality too um, quite a few scenes where uh, the guys are on a rooftop uh, enjoying uh, fine wine coffee things of that sorts well that was probably done up there as well Drop over the city, gorgeous. Literally a stone, stone thrones away from the city. That building is like right there, like you can touch it. So close. Let's take a look around in the front. I told you guys I'm a really big Soprano fan, and this we're gonna get in uh, detail here. 
Dr. Melfi, uh, Tony's uh, shrink, had a dream that Tony uh, was involved in a crash, in an accident. This is from season, let's say season two, episode three. And that was um, Tudo Fucking O. This right here, 22nd, 22nd, 22nd and 42nd which is uh, this road right here is where Tony uh, Dr. Melfi Trump was in a in a car crash so again this is the intersection right here where that scene was shot where Dr. Melfi uh, dreamt, uh, you know, that Tony got into a car accident. You can correlate it with the, um, with the air conditioned ducts that you see. And, uh, you know, and, uh, those square windows. And, again, the Silver Cup Studios straight down there how very convenient and uh, there is the famous silver cup sign um, that you could always view view of the city. That silver cup, that's uh, the back of the building. Check out this view right here. Pretty damn nice. Pretty damn nice. You're a member of the Soprano uh, family. Throw a lot of bodies out there onto that river. Right here we are, Long Island City again. Silver Cup Studios with the down that way. It's just a mere couple of blocks, so everything is hopping a skip and a jump away from each other. But right across there, what is now Local 78, 1117 43rd Avenue. That was Johnny Sachs's office. Johnny Sachs's office. Uh, the only thing that's different, uh, as you can see, it says Local 78 there. Um, the front uh, was the same as it is now. And you see the backdrop going into the city. You have a little bit more shrubbery here <laughs> now than before. But that was Johnny Sachs's office, which now seems to be a, a union office. Sopranos. Johnny Sachs's office. Hope all is well, guys. Ciao. And uh, if you like this series, definitely please do hit the subscribe button.